everyone, welcome to another quick tip video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create an envelope using the Martha Stewart Craft Scoring Board. I showed you in an earlier video basic scoring tips, but today I'm going to show you how to use the envelope template. So when you buy the scoring board, it has this template that comes inside, which by the way, you can turn your scoring board completely over and slide this in and store it right there. It doesn't come out very easily. You have to, it'll snugly fit right in there. So you can store the template underneath your scoring board. But for today, I'm going to bring it up to the front and slide it in right up against that railing. Now, you'll notice that there are some guide, there's like a little info section right here. It's going to tell you how to create standard size envelopes. Now, for a standard A2 card, which if you're wondering about the card dimensions, up here at the top, there's a little guide right here as well. An A2 card is your standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And it says right here, we're gonna start with eight and a half by eight and a half inch paper, which I've cut some pattern paper here, some really cute American Crafts paper. That also gives you A score lines and B score lines. And this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna have your A's go this direction and your B's go this direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my paper right up in the snuggly into that template. No matter what size you're using, you want to make sure that the corner goes all the way to the edge here, that railing. All right, so I'm going to press that in nicely. And then I'm going to use a stylus or a bone fold or just anything that's going to score the paper. And I'm going to start with the A lines. So I'm coming up here. A lines is at three inches. So I'm going to score at three. Now I'm going to turn the paper. 90 degrees, and now I'm going to do a B, B line. So I'm going to do A, B, A, B. So coming up to B, it's 3 and 5 eighths. So that would be right here. All right, and I'll turn again. And now I'm going to do another A line, which is at 3 right here. All right, and then I'll do the last turn. And the last one will be a B line, which is at 3 and 5 eighths again. All right, so at this point we're done with the scoring board. I have little triangle areas on the edges that I'm going to use scissors to cut out. All right, so now we have our basic envelope shape. I'm going to turn it over and fold in all of these edges. You can use whatever adhesive you'd like to bring in all the corners of the envelope. One little tip I like to do is on the center fold right here, I like to bring in a corner rounder and just round the sharp corner, just so it gives a little bit more of a finished look. You want to use a really, really strong adhesive. I like to use this red double-sided tape. This is uh, commonly called Wonder Tape from Ranger, and I'm just going to bring it along this side alright and I'll fold in the sides and then fold up the center and now I have an envelope that I can put my card into and send in the mail